All right, everybody. So uh, the tires are, are tires and wheels are on. Uh, they actually don't look so bad, in my opinion. Um, it is nighttime, so maybe maybe I won't like the the polished aluminum as much. But the one area where I'm concerned is um, if you remember my previous video underneath there's basically the where the spring housing is and there's not enough light here for you to see it um, but the clearance is a lot less um, at least a millimeter or two less than it is with the stock tires I was a little concerned so I, I, I grabbed a little piece of paper um, because clearly my fingers can't fit but um, and you can't see this but I'm sliding it in between so there is there is clearance I just don't know if it's sufficient because that both pieces should be hard set and so there shouldn't be um, this should be the closest the tire ever gets to that area and it's in the center line of the tire right so as you turn um, the tire the a portion of the tire isn't going to get any closer uh, and that's I mean that would be my main concern um, is is on the turning so we'll see if it's going to rub. Um, I hope not. Uh, but the, the rears were fine. Now, again, though, I think that clearance issue is also the diameter of the tires. And remember, these tires are slightly larger uh, than the ones on the, the stock Bolt EV tires. So if you go with the stock size, um, I think any clearance issues that you have are going to be, or, you know, aren't going to be there because you're going to have uh, a tire that's you know just a few percentages um, smaller also uh, you'll notice I have you know one one tire there I have the rest of the tires in the back and maybe you know in case that's not clear what happens is uh, modern tires, every car after 2008 actually has a, what's called a tire pressure monitoring system and it's linked to the car and synced to the car. And uh, if I was going to keep these on here permanently, um, I wouldn't worry. I just do it old school and remember to actually check my own tire pressure. <laughs> but uh, because uh, that's not the case, um, you know, I'm going to have to. Uh, I don't want to have to reset it unnecessarily. So, uh, what I am going to do though is going to turn it on, and hopefully, what happens is because these tires are inside, and I haven't turned the car on since I started, uh, since I put the wheels on, uh, it, it wouldn't have lost sync. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and turn the car on, and hopefully, it syncs up with the tires inside and keeps those uh, keeps that uh, um, connection because otherwise I would end up with a huge um, beeping face at me telling me that my tires were low on pressure and needed to be replaced. All right, so and that, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to replace it or not. I might. Um, but and then my tire pressure is probably still pretty high. No, yeah, 42. 44 and of course does not correlate anywhere <laughs> uh, to where my uh, um, tires are now because they're in a jumbled mess in the back but um, yeah so it's it's not re you know it's it's still reading them so that's good uh, the tires that I have on don't have a tire pressure monitoring system and, uh, and I apologize that the, the wind noise came up it was warmer today so I had the, the fan on I'll turn it down to one um, actually I'm, I'm gonna turn it off completely uh, the reason for that is I, I want to see if I can do a little bit of a drive um, and probably not far and obviously I won't keep the the video feed running the whole time while I'm in the parking lot though I might um, just to, to see like uh, just to start rolling and uh, see if I can detect any sort of rubbing issues. So, and that jolting is probably just from the car having been jacked up. All right, so I'm rolling in my Segway.
Oh, sorry. Um, and I, I, I hear the pedestrian alert, but I don't hear rubbing, which is good. But I mean, the steering wheel is basically straight as you, well, as you might be able to see. Um, so now I'm going to trying to detect whether there might be some rubbing there's so much ambient noise that it's kind of hard to tell so let's move this into I'm going to do low so I don't go crazy it's certainly not in just a normal steering path that it would be rubbing yeah I I actually don't think it's rubbing at all, which is good. I mean, again, I ha I felt I had enough clearance that the uh, I had enough clearance that the paper would go through, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's sufficient for driving, and it doesn't necessarily mean that it's sufficient for turning, because that's where you're going to get a majority of your your rubbing. Um, this isn't my parking space that I'm backing into. <laughs> Uh, but it's my neighbor, so he, and he wasn't here when I was doing my uh, tire change, so I think he was off working, so I'm not going to occupy his spot too much. But okay, so now let's see. Oh, oops. Yeah. Don't want it to back into a garage. I might have to blame GM. Uh, I, I completely defeated the purpose of that exercise. I was going to turn my okay, so not that you're gonna see this in the great light, but I'm turning in here and trying to see. Um, I shouldn't have gotten rid of that piece of paper. <laughs> so what I'm hoping for is with this piece of paper that I was using, it's kind of a thick cardstock. I'm hoping that if there is any sort of impingement, um, I'll, I'll be able to tell because the paper won't be able to slide through. But so far, it, it doesn't seem like that's the case. So if I if I can slide the paper through all the way, but now, yeah, on the hard turn, it does seem to be binding. So, but still, my fat fingers actually just lost it. So, I mean, it, it does seem to be binding a little bit, but that could have just been it, it rolled up. But yeah, the idea is if the paper can fit through, and, and that's full turn, so if the paper can fit through, then the tires aren't going to rub. So I, I almost feel confident enough to do stage two. Now, the other thing is, again, if you reference from that video, the uh, that was the bottom, the base plate for the spring so that can actually be removed um, or at least modified uh, and then of course at some point maybe if someone wants to go to coilovers or coilovers or something of that nature then you could do that as well um, but I might actually just go for a little bit of a drive um, and record the efficiency uh, afterward but again so I'll just cut off the video now but yeah so it seems like they're fine for now and 
worst case scenario if you have stock tire diameter which is about 2.5 percent smaller it will fit and uh, shouldn't actually have any problems so that might be the setup I end up going with I'm not sure so we'll see